Today I'm going to show you how to enable VNC and then also set your resolution on a headless Raspberry Pi, so one that doesn't have like a display or keyboard or mouse connected to it. Um, but I am assuming that you have SSH set up for it. If you don't, watch my previous video on setting up SSH for a headless Raspberry Pi because we're going to utilize that for this video. So you're going to see if I just go to VNC and then type in the address of the Pi, so it's Raspberry Pi .local, it's the host name. Um, you'll see that I get a refused connection, and that just means that I can communicate to it, but that VNC hasn't been enabled yet. So um, that's what I was expecting. So instead, we'll just go to PuTTY to connect over SSH. So Raspberry Pi dot local. Login as Pi and password of Raspberry is the default. I would recommend changing that from the default if you're setting up things like SSH and VNC Viewer. Uh, so once here, we can go into the raspy config to enable VNC. So that'd be sudo space raspy hyphen config. And I'll put that command in the description so you can just copy and paste it. And then in this list here, arrow down to interfacing options, hit enter, arrow down to VNC, hit enter again and then go to the left, go to yes, and now just hit enter and then go down to finish. So now VNC is enabled, so that was pretty simple. So now if I go back to VNC and I try to connect, then again, the username is gonna be pi and the password's gonna be raspberry. Um, you'll probably get a warning message if it's your first time connecting to that device, uh, that's fine. Now you're gonna see, I have it expanded here and it looks pretty terrible. That's because the default resolution for this is going to be like 640 by 640. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set that resolution on boot up to a much better one for your uses. So um, the way to do that is to just go into the terminal here. Just type the command sudo space nano space forward slash boot forward slash config.txt. So this is the file that sets the boot parameters for the Raspberry Pi. So when it opens up, you're, you should see a whole bunch of information there. If it's empty, then it means you typed in the previous command wrong. I will put that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Um, and then you should get this same thing. So uh, if you just scroll down with the arrow key, then there's a few important ones that we have to change here. So the first one is going to be this HDMI force hot plug one. And the second one is going to be HDMI group equals one and HDMI mode equals one. So um, this hashtag before it means it's commented out so we need to remove that hashtag first for all three of those and so the force hot plug makes it so it thinks an hdmi cable is connected regardless of if one is or not and then these two set the resolution the group and the mode the group is setting whether what type of resolution you want and group one is generally intended for TVs and then group two is generally intended for monitors. That's not like a hard and fast rule, but um, I know the resolution I want is in group two. So I'm just gonna put that as group two. I'll show you the list in a second for how you choose those. And then mode is the actual resolution in that group. So I will paste the website for all this in the description, but I have it right here. So what you'll see here is there's two groups, HDMI group one is CEA and HDMI group two is DMT. And then they have lists for both of those. So this would be group one, but I selected group two. Um, the big difference is you'll see there's different frequencies here where this one is uh, a little more monitor based frequencies. But again, it's just as long as you find the resolution you want, just make sure you have the correct group for that. So I want to go to 1080p. So that's option 82 in this list for group two. So I'm just gonna uh, set my HDMI mode to 82 just like it is here. So I'm gonna go back to the VNC viewer. So I set group two already, and I'm gonna change my mode to 82. Now it's cut off at the bottom, unfortunately, because of the tiny resolution, but Nano is a little weird. To save it, you just need to hit Control O, and you'll see a little message at the bottom again, it's cut off, but just hit Enter to save it, and then you hit Control X to exit. And so now those uh, parameters are configured, but they won't actually be set up until the Raspberry Pi reboots. So to do that, I'll just type in sudo reboot right here, and it will immediately kick me off. And then I'm going to wait about 30 seconds, and I'm going to try connecting again, and you'll see that the new resolution has been set. So now that I've given the Pi time to reboot, I'll try and start it again here. 
type in Raspberry. And you'll see that now the resolution is significantly better. So if I expand this here, you'll see that this is in full 1080p and it's much more usable. And so this is completely headless setup running VNC um, and totally usable as if you were sitting right in front of it. That is how you enable VNC on a headless Raspberry Pi.